guys, the show's not originally called Superstore. And so I'm curious if you can talk a little bit about the original title and how serious you were about that and what kind of genesis was with that. Uh, so the original title was The Greatest Love Story Ever Told. Um, and it really, uh, it came from, I wanted to just do a show about people who worked in a store. Um, and that's just not a very uh, sellable concept just on its own. It's low concept, it's all in the execution, and I like those shows the best, but they're a little harder to sell. Um, and I knew there was gonna be a will there, won't they have before, anyway. Um, so I just figured that would be sort of the selling point, a little like How I Met Your Mother, what had this big uh, conceit, but then it was just a show about a group of friends. Um, and uh, so we sold it like that. Um, I always knew that in the original concept, Joan and Amy were not going to be the greatest love story ever told. It was going to be a mislead. Uh, you weren't going to know what the story was at the end of the pilot. Uh, and then uh, uh, during, that, during the development, a number, there were a number of romantic comedies on the air, and none of them were doing very well. And uh, then I got a call from NBC saying, what would you think of maybe just changing it to like Superstore or something? And they said, okay, this is your one win. Um, uh, so it was great. So no, it all worked out. And from that original concept, this you didn't imagine, I guess, this whole group of characters, it's the ensemble expanding the way it did, or did you? Expanding? Yeah, and, and deepening and much more, com I mean, the interactions with everybody. Well, I mean, I knew there would be this ensemble, and right. over time, uh, characters become more dimensional. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so I knew that would happen, although I didn't know how yet. I mean, that's something you sort of find in series. Uh, I think the surprise, I mean... Uh, you, you inevitably introduce more characters into the ensemble, mm. um, but the biggest surprise has been those characters, the amazing actors that we found, uh, the characters that we found. I mean, I couldn't have predicted that early on, and that's been so so part of the success of the show. So uh, we just really lucked out in, in that respect. Uh, we did early on write uh, some generic sides for employees and uh, customers, and we just auditioned a bunch of people to just get a sense of people that were funny that were out there and that we figured we'd tailor parts to them. That's how we found uh, John Bernholtz. Uh, he just was so funny and we said we've got to find a way to get him in uh, and a number of other uh, people that have done. Hmm.